Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to present a tutorial Joe McCormick came up with for MySQL stored procedures. Joe agreed to let us create this video on his tutorial, which is available as an article on his blog at the URL shown here. Stored procedures in MySQL are programs stored at the server. They can enhance performance and improve security. Joe starts by showing us a very straightforward stored procedure. A stored procedure is created using the create procedure data definition language statement. The stored procedure in this case is going to select data from an inventory table. In Joe's second example, we see the use of a cursor in the procedure. Also notice the delimiter. The delimiter is changed to a dollar sign dollar sign because within the stored procedure, the semicolons are used to indicate the end of the SQL statements. We want to make sure that all of the statements are compiled so that the procedure is successfully processed at the server. The stored procedure here is written in procedural SQL. This is the default language that is used when composing stored procedures. We see if statements, for example. We can also use looping statements as well, and we can use SQL within these procedural statements. In order to invoke the stored procedure from a program or from a command line interface, we use the SQL call statement. In this example, Joe calls his retrieve inventory name stored procedure passing to the procedure the input parameters. The stored procedure can respond by loading the results into a temporary table. This is very convenient because the stored procedure might be in use by multiple clients and each client will get its own copy of the data in the temporary table. Joe also includes some very handy SQL statements in order to find the stored procedures that we have defined at our database server. Inspired by Joe's stored procedure, I have written the stored procedure. The stored procedure that I have composed is going to return data from a customer table based upon last name. The store procedure expects an input parameter of last name and it will process the customer table looking for all of the customers that have that last name. The customers will be communicated back to the client using a temporary table. To set up this demonstration I have created a demo database and I have created the customer table and I have loaded the customer table with several customer records. Now I will demonstrate the stored procedure using the MySQL command line tool. I'm going to change the delimiter to dollar sign dollar sign. Now I'm going to compile the stored procedure. I'm going to forward the file that contains the data definition language statements to the server. Now the procedure is created. I'm going to select the data from the customer table so that we see the customers that we currently have in the customer table. Notice that we have several customers whose last name is Thompson. So I'm going to invoke my stored procedure looking for the customers whose last name is Thompson. I'm going to issue the SQL call statement as Joe has indicated in his tutorial. I reference the stored procedure by name and in parentheses I pass the input parameter which is the last name. The stored procedure has been executed. Now I will select the rows returned by the stored procedure. These are rows that have been placed in the temp customers table. We see the three customers that we identified earlier when we queried the customer table. Thanks again to Joe for the inspiration for this video. 
Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other tutorials on MySQL.